Hey guys, what is going on? This is Larknock1, and welcome back to episode 10 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. We are playing as the African Union, and we are going for a purity victory. Last time, some shizzle-dizzle went down. Uh, this colonist here seems to be pushing up towards where we took out Gong Ren. The enemy upgraded from Affinity 1 to 3, and now they have armor, which are not to be trifled with at all. So we are going to be playing the cards very close to our chests until... Uh, we get more tac jets online for basic defense. Um, right now, two have been doing us, you know, some justice. I believe we have an expert now, but I feel like we haven't built enough of them, um, which is a bit of a problem, because now we really have to deal with armors and gunners. Okay, so we also have a few things to build. Magan just finished a colonist, the one we are sending up to contest this northern region, um, and... What else? Uh, Magan finished producing. Do all of our cities have trade routes? Just double checking. Magan's only got one of two, and Tabo doesn't have one. Um, that is not good. So we should definitely build those. Trade routes are very important. Let's definitely queue those up. And we've got one more production here. Tabo finished a pharma lab, bringing the local health to five. Very good. Um, now, the question is what to build in Tabo. If we build a laboratory that's excellent for our long-term science, uh, it tends to be very cheap. It's three science, which is always huge. Um, alternatively, we go for the vivarium for long-term growth, or the auto plant for long-term sustainable production. Um, I'm thinking the vivarium seems like the best choice, because I really want to see Tabo bloom into an excellent, excellent, huge-ass city. All right, we just got biology. And it is now time to get vertical farming. Uh, vertical farming is amazing. It is one of the two, ah, three technologies in this game that are obscenely good for purity to grow. So vertical farming here gives you one food on farm and one energy on farm, uh, in addition to a hefty amount of purity points. Um, the other techs that are really good for purity to grow are biospheres here. Um, I tend to like vertical farming first, just because Biosphere's ability basically gives you a 10% food carryover, which is good. It, by, by no means is that bad. That's amazing. But it's better to have a base food rate that's higher earlier, um, and then that can stack on very well. Um, the other technology that's insanely good is nanopastures right here, and we're going to get around to showing you guys, well, I'll get around to showing you guys how obscenely good this is when combined with the free tech from the Institute. Um, that said, we have to do pick up bionics eventually, but I think vertical farming is a good choice um, right now. We are entering, we're certainly in the mid game, um, so it just seems like a good choice. All right, so our worker here has finished a farm. What to do now? Um, I'm actually not opposed to maybe building domes. I almost never do. Um, Nah, there's no, really no point. Uh, vertical farming is about to pop, and that's going to be insane. So might as well just get as many farms as I can. Let's definitely get the farm right here. Why not? All right, so a raptor bug here is supposed to protect this colonist. But could we actually get him into a beneficial location? I'd rather not. Let's just have him chill here, and he can support if he absolutely needs to. Maybe cross the river? Yeah, why not? Cross the river. I don't think you can do any weird shit to kill that colonist. Seems like almost a guarantee to live. Alright, so we do have our Iron Ravagers down here trying to make contact with Lollibella. Just in case uh, we can trade with them. I love Lollibella. It's one of my favorite stations in the game. It just gives so much culture. When I don't care about any other station in the game, I like Lollibella. Alright, so armors. Um, they're scary. So even if we were to shoot these twice, we could get it theoretically decently weak, but armors are just really strong. So I'm thinking what we might want to do is a bit of a pullback. And make sure we have the glorious eagles here, the inglorious eagles, um, as a front line to protect against possible counterattack of some kind. So let's definitely try that. Uh, that would be, what's the best way to do this? Probably pull him this way. Pull the rough squad into center and put the Inglorious Eagles right smack dab here. Or, you know, we, we could kill it, but, you know, no, it doesn't sound smart. I'd rather just take out a, call, uh, a, what do you call it, an outpost. So let's go ahead and advance to the next turn. See where this gets us. 
एक और एक ग्यारह होते हैं Give you the once a cooperation agreement. Sure, why not? She's not too close to really be any trouble to me. I'm just hoping this all goes well. All right, so it looks like they pulled back their colonists and their armor did not advance. Uh, that's much what I wanted until we can get all of our guys healed up. Now these guys do have a 15 heal rate, so even in miasma they should eventually heal to full. These guys will be good. Um, yeah, we could do a bit of a push up. Let me just. Recheck the range on tack jets. I don't want to do anything stupid. One, two, three, four. That's what I thought. Um, so in this case, it's one, two, three, four. Hmm. They could theoretically shoot me. Uh, I, I'd rather just heal, honestly. Okay. So that's good. Fortify all around. Fortify. And our trade convoy here is done in Magan. So the question is, do we want to send it away instantly or wait? We could probably wait for a connection to Lalibella, which we can do right now, actually. So let's close this. Let's see if we can... There we go. There's Lalibella. Can we trade? Yes, we can! That's wonderful. Okay, we could also trade theoretically with Bongani uh, to make it grow faster. Ooh, they are pushing down with that armor. They could actually take Bongani out. Um, they just have to do a lot of damage. Ah, jeez. I think our guys would definitely put some pressure on the AI. I don't know if the AI is too good at kind of like throw away sacrifices like that, but we'll see. Um, at any rate, other international trades are available. Um, all of these are better for them than us, though. So I'm thinking more like Lollibella. I do love me some Lollibella. Okay, so we're going to get our second trade convoy here. That's going to be for Tabo. Um, in the meanwhile, let's... See what we can do with Clone Echo and whatnot. We definitely have to get our Raptor Bug down. Let's move this slowly in. Oh god, they got a missile rover here. Doesn't seem like they have anything else, but they could definitely have planes in Init 10. And that would fire on the missile rover. So, let's play again close to the chest. Bring Sinister Thorns down. Um, the White Revenants seem fine where they are. They're, on, they're healing t like 20 a turn. Even like hitting me severely, I don't think I can do that much. Um, our tech jit here, these are both really too injured to do anything. So we might as well just chill. Uh, we could definitely hit here. It's no, of no cost to us, I don't think. So let's definitely hit. Bit of a counterattack, but you know, we're out of range of the planes, so I'm really not worried. Uh, I'm, I'm just worried Bongani could actually go down. Um, so we have our worker here. You know what we could do with this guy is help him build roads to Bongani and improve. I think Janali and Magan are actually okay for now. Um, hmm. Yeah, they, they do seem pretty good. One other thing we could do is build that Xenomass well, which I'm surprised we haven't done yet. Um, it's, it was actually appropriated by Magan, which isn't good. Um... We'll, we'll check and see, but that might mean that Tabo actually can't build the Xeno Nursery, uh, which will be a pain. Let's definitely get this guy up north. Our worker here, what to do? Um, the armor's right there, but they tend not to aggro. Wait, what's this guy doing? Did he build a road? He did build a road. So we can move this... You know, we can wait for that aggro to be gone, so let's go ahead and build a farm. Him, on the other hand, let's just move him up on the hill and he'll start building that farm. Uh, road, sorry. So let's see what they're gonna do to Bongani. I don't think an armor alone can take out a station, but eh, you never own an outpost, but you never know. Armors are strong, they have like 16 combat strength. They didn't go for it. Thank heavens. They are pulling soldiers down. Um might be an intelligent time to actually pull troops this way. I'm not opposed. Seems like a good idea to me. Get suicide Indians firing on this enemy gunner. We should probably keep iron wild cards. Eh, why not? We can just move them. We can keep them only in this region to protect Bongani. Bongani should be fine. I don't want to lose this trade route though, so let's play careful. One, two, three, four... This missile rover is free play now, so let's go ahead and eat it up. Can we do any... Jeez, we actually can't use the raptor bugs movement for all that much. Uh, let's get him up on the hill and do some weird kind of blocking. 
Um, whereas Clone Echo doesn't actually need kills. But it seems like the only way that... Actually, hold on. Mm, I'm pretty sure you don't get your movement bonus from a road unless you start on one. So that would take up the whole movement. So let's go ahead and move Clone Echo down and kill this missile rover. Meanwhile, get Sinister Thorns down as well. And White Revenants can certainly take a bite of this gunner, and we can probably clean up with our attack jets. Yep, there we go. Strongest one first, so as the weaker one doesn't take that much damage, and hopefully this is a kill. There we go. Nice and clean. Alright, our colonist is done. Let's move him up. They have a bit of a front here, which is not good. Um, I'm pretty sure the armor could theoretically move onto the hill and then hit one of our gunners, which is very bad. That said, you know, we can just move Eagler's Eagles right here, and that denies. That was an excellent time for the nest to spawn. And... Can we actually shoot with anything? We can we can definitely put this guy here without risk of a counterattack. Maybe from the gunner, but that seems like it's it. Um, whereas, let's go ahead and get white demons in place here as well. And we got a new virtue. So, the decision now is do we want to pick up community medicine now? Or do we want to keep delving into industry? Um, alternative markets could give us a little bit more energy. Getting closer to Magna Santi is always good. Community medicine gives an instant amount of health. It could boost our science up 10% if we go positive. Uh, that said, it will go negative again when Bongani is there, but it looks like it will give us... Okay, this and this are cumulatively, you know, two. A little less than three. This one, all this together is more like four health. And then here's one, so five health. That's not bad, actually. We could get that, and then, then we'd just be two uh, virtues away from the 10 plus 10% plus science. So let's go ahead and grab that. There we go. Uh, it doesn't look like it gave as much as I thought, but we are still positive. Very good. And we've seen Lolly Bella, so now we can get Mr. Iron Ravager's home. Our worker here, let's have him build a road. And next turn. It really could be going for a kill here, though. Let's hope the AI is not smart enough. Oh, they're going for it! Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! Come on, don't do it! Ooh, they didn't do it! <sighs> okay. Um, we should be good as long as we can... Oh lord, uh, without the raptor bug, I don't even know if we can neutralize this armor. It will heal, Bongani will heal up a bit, but, hmm, doesn't look like it might be enough. If they want to with that armor, they'll be able to kill it. What's going on up here? Um, they charged in with the armor. The armor got attacked by aliens, who only did five damage to them. The eagles are staying strong, but armor is so, so tough. Holy heck, armor is scary. Especially with that flanking bonus they've got. Um... Can definitely fire on them, and we definitely have to this turn. But let's deal with our issues down here first. Uh, armor is scary, and we need to play everything closer to the chest. So we, we need a lot of tack jets from now on. We need tack jets, tack jets, tack jets. Let's get Iron Ravagers back home, cross the river, and see if we can't secure a kill right here. Definitely can. Got to get a one-two blast. Should be good. One, two, three, four. I mean, we can get targeted by planes if they totally want to, but I think Unholy Thorns will honestly be fine. They'd have to hit it like seven times, and the, maybe... No, they can't do it. Okay, so, Bongani... It could be okay. We just have to do a lot of damage to the armor this turn. Um, so, what we definitely want is to get a flanking bonus. So, we gotta move our guy in... Here, Sinister Thorns. We're taking a bit of a gamble on this. Uh, we're gonna have Clone Echo take out their gunner so they can't do any more range damage. And then we need a Raptor Bug to do serious damage. 
Uh, it might be enough. We just need it to be enough that they can't take it out with this armor. If we can survive this turn, um, then a dual strike from this marine, the raptor bug, and... Uh, mm, Clone Echo's a little down for the count for a while, but... A dual strike will definitely prevent any capture. Alright, so they're moving in with two armor. So I think it's probably wise to, you know, just fortify until healed, get our tack jets, bombing, no, maybe this one, no, just too much damage to be taken, we'll see what they're going to do with those armor, we'll, we'll keep our position though, alright, so Inglorious Eagles here, let's not be too hasty about what we want to do with them, but we got to do something, um, they're closing in fast, with a lot of units, uh, two military units, and I really don't want to lose anything. So, first of all, this Dark Guard absolutely needs to fire on this armor. It needs to happen. We really need, like, another... Oh, boy. Uh, Gunner here can actually fire on the armor as well. Now, what we could do is close in and fire on this Marine, but we're likely to get a counterattack missile over and then the Marine walking in on us, which isn't good at all, so... Let's just shoot on... Yeah. We gotta shoot. While we're at it, let's definitely get our colonist to a place where he can't be killed this turn, pretty much no matter what. And... You know, what we could do is you could take out this armor, and that would really put a lot of pressure on this marine to do something. He'd be flanked, and... Oh, boy. We could do so much work. That said, um... The question is... If we don't kill this armor, will it heal? Will it just do a full auto heal? And if we do kill this armor, will the Inglorious Eagles live? I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna play it cautiously. If we lose a gunner, ah, a oh well. Gunners are not as valuable as upgraded uh, melee units. At least I don't think so. All right, so our second petroleum well is done. Very good. Um, it's probably wise to pick up this guy over here now. Is it? Cheaper to buy this direction, probably. Yeah, it looks cheaper. Let's get our guy over there and see if we can't grab ourselves a third petroleum well. We have a bunch of polystyrelian armors lining up. Maybe. Hold on. You know, polystyrelian is actually we're pretty friendly with them. So let's see if we can't do a little Good to see uh, you again. little goosey goose. How's that? Let's talk. Ooh, money! Wait, doesn't that mean they have to declare war? Yeah. Okay, so Hutama is in the war now. So that'll, that's going to keep some pressure off of us, which we desperately need. Um, I'm crossing my fingers on Bogani. This is not an exact science. If we lose this guy, you know, Sinister Thorns, it's like, eh, damn it, he's a veteran. But, you know, you just got to put money where your mouth is. He is flanked, so that's another combat bonus against him. Um, but, you know, maybe he can kill it. You never know. He's definitely going for it. Oh, he didn't get it! Oh, he didn't get it! He didn't get it! Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was stressful. Dude, the PAC are... They are... This is what happens at any high difficulty when you think that you're good. Just like, you know, spawning next to their strongest character. Uh, oh, the strongest AI in the game. So they did some weird pussy shit. They pulled out and didn't attack anything. Classic AI. Um, what to do? Uh, certainly this guy is just going to shoot. I can't see any better use for him. Our attack jets can probably fire. No, we might just want to do a little a rundown first. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like a bad idea. They're not going to... They're not going to, like, put a city there. That's That'd be insane. Um... Watch them just do just that. It would have like 10 combat strength and our guy would eat it. So let's just do a double drop here. To ensure our dude's safety. So he can't be counterattacked and killed that way. Bongani is gonna be dandy. They're gonna be just fine. Alright, so Sinister Thorns can probably confirm the kill. Maybe not. Um, let's just do this damage first. Okay. 
and finish up with Sinister Thorns. Meanwhile, just in case this armor is going to do some weird shit and go in for another kill, let's get Clone Echo up on the hill and see if we can't heal him up. Alrighty, so Unholy Thorns, what to do with him? Uh, I actually think we need more melee units on this front. This front looks pretty passive, especially because the Polystralians are our allies now. We don't really have that much to worry about. Let's go ahead and grab this petroleum well. And you know what? We can move both melee units back. And we can keep Suicide Indians stationed here in case something weird happens. But for the most part, I think that front should be fine with the Polystralians. Okay, so we finished our Senior Nursing Janali. Um, you know what? I actually kind of want to build military units. Um, there's just so much military pressure right now. I'd like to get another tack jet quickly. Take some pressure off the capital producing too. So we'll have two ranged units here, and that should be fine. We need more melee units just everywhere. Now that they have just superior firepower. Let's get Dark Guard back into healing. Uh, we can move this colonist right here. And our guy, Inglorious Eagles, should be dandy. He's going to heal up to, what, 83? 83. And a double strike here will probably kill that Marine. Not really sure what they were doing with his missile rover, but nothing smart. Okay, so what to do with this guy? Um, this trade route is liable to be just absolutely demolished because of the way they're putting pressure on us. That said, 8 science. Jeez. That's kind of nutty. Where would that go? All the way around? All the way around. Um, that could be really, really good, though. 8 science. Alternatively, we go to Magan and give them some extra production, or we pick up um, two production in Tabo and give Ayan a load of resources. You know, that might not be bad. Ayan is doing excellently, but extra growth could never be bad, especially because it will be a three petroleum city. Um, <laughs> I'm not opposed to the science, though, because at, at the end of the day, we are purity, and we really need the science. More trade routes with Freeland makes them more our friends, too, which is just dandy. This worker here is done. Um, I'm going to send him south to help out the effort of improving Bongani. And this petroleum, I think the marsh was just removed, so now we can build the petroleum well. Either that or he was just stopped by enemy military units. That's probably more likely. Alright, the road is done. And next turn. I want to see what sort of sneaky garbage they do. They could probably kill a couple trade routes here. Alrighty. So pressure on Inatin exists now. Now that the Polystralians are in the war effort. They're probably all just going to die. Um, but you know, it bides time. And that is an invaluable resource. Especially because it didn't cost us a pretty penny. The only threat to me in an alliance is the AI randomly declares war with people that you don't want to go to war with. Um, okay. So, it looks like our tread route got past this armor. Should be fine. And we now can have a veterancy on White Revenants. Very good. Alright, so he has 67 health. Let's heal up to 87, thank you very much. And our tactics here can probably confirm this kill. Certainly. Alright. We need our melee units back home. That is where the fighting is occurring. Alright, so in case this armor does some weird shit and goes for Bonyani, definitely get Sinister Thorns up here. We can heal Clone Echo here as well, and, you know, healing the Raptor Bug shouldn't be hard either. We can heal him right here. So they took out the nest, uh, you know, stealing 25 energy from us, oh well. Um, but we can definitely counterattack. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Which lends the question, do we settle our colonist exactly where he is, or do you move him? Um, I kind of like where he is. It's not a bad spot. Fruit right there, silica right there. All this land is great. Two Xenomass access. You know what? Let's go ahead and settle right here. But that looks like the end of the episode, guys. So... Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, take care.